<clears throat> right, this 38, 40% bounce zone, anybody that's decided to take profits, great. If you decided it was time to buy, you can see how the character has changed again here. This is the mirror inside today's range. Here, here's 15 minutes of shame right here for the long side, and here's their 15 minutes of fame right here. And we've said there's, you know, got to be careful now. This was our protected zone, more than likely. Better odds to be buying the 30 to 35 range than selling it. Just like there's better odds up here to be selling this 50 to 45 range. So I think both the day high and day low are in already. And rightfully so. It's 3 o'clock. It's been no contra. We had no contra at lunch. So you've got to expect a late day contra. And the NQ has followed suit as well. <clears throat> so in my opinion, we've said this 42 should be the immediate resistance. And obviously anybody's playing long side The aggressive resistance is going to be this high over here in the 40 zone. And it is the beginning of the month, so it could be that uh, <clears throat> despite all the gloom and doom, that are odds to be buying back in this neighborhood rather than buying up here at the open. So you know, I always want to think opposite. It's better to be selling here and buying, and obviously it was better to buy here and to sell here. In this location, all we can think of is this is profit taking from this move, but it also could be initiative where we could see the first helping was, wasn't was given an opportunity in here, was just, okay, we're up and we're squeezing. So try to remember these locations that we have the breakdowns from. Because on retests, they're important, usually first time back as resistance. And a really good day for the, the short side to, to put the ball back over here, hit it back over the tennis net and, you know, deep into the shorts, uh, the longs territory. And I think range trading at this point, and I do believe the low and high are in for the day. <clears throat> 